This smartphone is amazing. It's a gaming smartphone well known among gamers as the Nubia Red Magic. And of course, this one is the latest model, the Red Magic 3. It's got an aggressive muscular design that sets it apart. This is something new, something fresh. In this video, we're going to unbox it and take a look at its amazing features. Now, it does have a Snapdragon 855 processor, an AMOLED display with 90 hertz refresh rate, as well as 8 gigabytes of RAM, so it's not a joke. Anyway, first, let's quickly unbox it and see what's inside. So we do have a great looking retail box. It looks the part of a gaming smartphone. And when you lift it up inside, you're going to see the phone right away with the Red Magic signature on the right side and the phone on the left. And of course, you can remove the entire top part off. And underneath what you get is you get a user guide, you get the charger, and of course, you've got the USB type C cable to charge your phone. And I do like how each component comes in its own little box. Just feels like a nice little modular design that just makes sense. And of course, there's the 18 watts power charging brick, the USB Type-C cable in red color, and the Red Magic Quick Start Guide, which came out of those boxes. So here we have the phone, and let's do a quick tour around the device to see what's happening here. And I'll tell you, a lot is happening over here. Now let's start at the bottom over here. As you can see, that's the logo for the smartphone. And that logo is in fact lighted. You can turn off the light or turn on the light and it's gonna be in red color. So that's the Nubia Red Magic 3 logo. And if we come up over here, we do have that LED strip that you saw in the beginning of the video, which can configure in a lot of different ways. I'm gonna show you that in the settings in a minute. And over here, we do have the actual fingerprint sensor right over here. And then on top of the fingerprint sensor right over here, we have something really cool. This is in fact an intake fan, okay? So this actually uh, takes in cold air from the outside to cool down your device, just like a gaming PC. And again, just like a gaming PC, it also has an exhaust fan uh, on the side over here from where the air actually comes out, this one right over here. So you do have an intake fan and an exhaust fan uh, that kick in if you actually enable them. You don't have to enable them, but if you want, you can actually uh, enable these fans. And if you put them on maximum power, you can actually hear them. And then above that, we have the uh, 48 megapixel camera over here and the LED flash. And I'll let you know the camera is not that great, but this phone was not designed to be a camera phone. It's designed to play games and that it does very well, as I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Uh, we talked about the fact that it's got 90 Hertz refresh rate and an AMOLED panel. Now, over here is something really amazing. This red button uh, actually is a switch that you can uh, just flip up and it actually uh, transforms the phone into a game mode that gives you game specific options. I'm gonna show you that in the software in a minute as well. And then other things that we have, of course, we have all the, uh, we have a little docking station here for accessories, the SIM card tray right over here. Nothing at the bottom. On the top, we do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on this side, of course, uh, what we have is the volume rocker, the exhaust fan, uh, the power button in the middle right there. And then interestingly over here, as you're playing games, you have two buttons that can be pressed. They can be assigned to fire, block or whatever, and you can actually press them. So this is the left trigger and this is the right trigger. So you do have some hardware buttons uh, to make your experience even better. Now, let me quickly show you something really cool. So this button here, if you flip it, it's going to launch the game mode. Okay, so the phone is in the regular mode right now. What you do is you just flip, flip the switch up, all right, just like that, and it's gonna go into a gaming mode. And then you get this interface over here, you have your game drawer. So all the games that I've downloaded or game related applications are gonna pop right over here. But here's the best thing. So you can, I can tap on this one right over here. And that's going to uh, disable the cooling fan. So the cooling fan has stopped right now. If I tap it again, it starts. So you can go over here, you can pull this in. Uh, you can tap on this fan again, turn it off from here as well. Turn it on, block messages when you're playing games. You've got the 4D shock option. So it gives you even more feedback based on certain games that you play. So as you're playing the game, you're getting four dimensional uh, vibration giving you more immersion. So when you tap on this one over here, for example, you can actually control the fan. So I can turn off the fan again. I can choose this. I can do rapid cooling. So that's gonna spin the fan so fast you can hear uh, the fan. Not as bad as a PC, obviously, but you can still hear it. As a matter of fact, let me just bring the microphone a little bit closer so maybe you can actually hear it.
Okay, so maybe it picked it up, uh, but you can also do intelligent adjustments. So that's going to make sure that as you play the game, uh, when the CPU gets a little bit hot or the phone gets hot, the intelligent spinning actually increases the speed of the fan for cooling. Again, remember, there's an intake fan on the back and an exhaust fan on the front, uh, on the side, uh, which is regulating the airflow. And of course, when I go over here to basic, uh, another great thing about this uh, phone is the 90 hertz refresh rate. So you can pick from auto 60 uh, frames per second or 90 frames per second, uh, which is great. And then you can actually uh, modify the LED effects on the back of the phone. So from here, it takes you to the menu. Uh, this uh, red magic symbol lamp is this one right here. So that's how you turn on and off that light. And then of course you have the LED strip. Select the LED effects until, by the way, the multicolor LED strip is uh, the long strip in the back. So I can choose the LED effects from here. I can go brief, I can go long bright, and that's gonna give you nice little effects. Now if I go down here, again, you have the atmosphere LED. I can turn this on as well. And then I can uh, choose the LED effects from here. I have all these different options. Now this is the one that's regulating what's happening right now. So if I flip it over, that LED light is gonna be working uh, based on the, the option that I picked. So that's great. So let me flip this over one more time, show you a couple more things here, and then you can go to help and get some more information. Now let's go back here and launch again game. So let's launch Asphalt 9. Uh, you're gonna notice, let's just go over here and make sure the fan is on and make sure that it's on intelligent spin, okay? So I'm gonna launch this game and uh, it's just gonna play amazing. You do have that 90 hertz rate. Everything is very smooth, very fast. So I have to kill the volume real quick. Uh, but I'll let you know, this phone has two front uh, stereo speakers. So one speaker is right here and the other one is right there. So, and of course there are, there are stereo speakers and there are front firing speakers. One of them is on the top over here, other one at the bottom, okay? Uh, so that's going to give you a lot of satisfaction as a multimedia smartphone. So you've got this large display, you've got high definition, you've got 90 hertz, you've got AMOLED, and now you're playing a game on this thing and it just feels absolutely amazing. And of course, because it does have a Snapdragon 855 processor and eight gigabytes of RAM or more, if you configure it that way, uh, you're gonna get amazing performance. Now this one here has eight gigabytes of RAM and it's still got a lag-free, super smooth experience. This uh, phone is not a joke, certainly designed for speed and gaming on top of all the extra features such as the fan, and, and the 90 hertz refresh rate. So let's just play this game for a minute. I'm gonna show you, just, it just feels amazing. So let's uh, press this button here. Let's spin the car a little bit. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go fast. Got a bunch of cars out of the way. Okay. Oops. Double tap the spin, give me a boost. Right. So again, you can see how how the performance on this uh, phone actually is. It's really good. Let's finish this race real quick. Go over there. Fantastic. Press that. Let's just there we go. We finished as number one. Okay. No lag. No stutter. Super smooth. High definition display. Now let's get out. Uh, of this game mode. Basically, if you, if you want to get out of this game mode, you can pause the game. Uh, I mean, you can exit the game if you want, but if you press this button, it is going to cancel the game mode and then you can, boom, go right back outside. All right, so this is the phone in the regular mode. And again, I'm gonna show you around the phone. Uh, so it's it's a mostly a gaming machine. And of course, a, a phone that does everything. Uh, you can watch videos on it and everything. Uh, I'll let you know that the screen is beautiful. Like I said, it's an AMOLED display, six point. 65 inches large so that's a big display and as you can see there's no notches you do have some bezels on the top and the bottom and the sides you've got so much going inside the phone the bezels are fully justified even though they're not even that big but if you go to the phone over here you know you've got here's the multicolor LED strip menu right over here you can make all kinds of modifications that's your display menu it looks like just like any other Android smartphone you can tap on advanced you can go down here, you can even pick uh, a darker theme if that's what you want, which makes sense. Uh, if you're a gamer, people prefer to have a dark theme on their device. 
So now when I go out and if I go to the settings, I got that nice little dark theme all over the place. Then you've got this game docking station thing. So if you buy the accessory, it gives you more options, okay? So let's go out. I'm going to show you one more thing that's really cool. Pinch the screen or uh, press and hold and go into wallpapers. And then from here, uh, if I go into the live wallpapers, uh, or just go to the wallpapers right here, you have these really cool wallpapers, okay? And some of them are uh, live wallpapers. So when the phone is turned off and you turn on the phone, you get an effect as the phone turns on, like this one that you saw in the beginning of the video, or this one right here, the Red Magic, okay? Or we have this one right here. That's pretty cool too. So again, when the phone is turned off, and, and you go into, you turn it on, you get these nice effects. Even if I do like the set wallpaper right now, you'll see it right there. If I go to the settings, for example, go up and down, go back, you're gonna see that effect. And again, this phone is super fast, also has 90 hertz refresh rate, so it's extra smooth, even smoother than a Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, as you're going back and forth uh, between screens and apps. Yeah, but that's it. This is the Nubia Red Magic 3. And of course, I'm going to drop a link to their website down below so you can go actually buy it if you want to. But if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below. Remember, this is a gamer's smartphone. It's probably one of the best gaming smartphones on the market right now, especially at that great price point. Anyway, guys, have a fantastic day.